Hey, Wild Adventures family, it's Adam. And yesterday we asked you to submit questions to our zookeepers to ask about our sloths, Oscar and Maya. So today we're in the sloth house. Now we're at the back bedroom of the sloth, sloth house. It's a little behind the scenes look. And we're here with Oscar and Maya and Caitlin, one of our zookeepers. Now, Caitlin, why are we in the back bedroom today? So it's a little bit chilly outside and we want to make sure our sloths stay nice and warm so they get to hang out inside today. Well, cool. This is a fun behind the scenes look. So let's get into some of the questions uh, that we got from Facebook. Uh, Chell asked us, how can you tell the two sloths apart? So there's a couple of notable differences between the two. Uh, they're about the same size, but Oscar does have more curly fur here, whereas Maya's fur is a little bit straighter. Oscar also has some white marbling in his claws, while Maya's are all black. Now, Oscar also has a little bit more of an orange face, and he's got a little bit of gray under his chin because he is a little bit older than her. Well, that leads us directly into our next question. Uh, this one comes from Robert on Facebook. He asks, how old are they, and what are some things that they like to do? So Maya is three years old, and Oscar is nine years old, and they really like to smell things with that cute little nose. Anything that we give them, they're straight away going to go smell it. I think he's looking for something to smell right now. <laughs> well, Jess from Instagram asked us that since sloths don't like crawling on the ground, how do they move from tree to tree? So they actually will crawl on the ground. Uh, they'll go to the ground at least once a week to use the bathroom. And that's how they get from tree to tree. They just crawl. Like, I, I don't know. I, I, it's pretty easy for us to see how they move from branch to branch. But how is it that they walk on the ground? That's a good question. So obviously their legs aren't designed to walk like a normal animal. They have those really long claws. So they're going to do this creepy little sort of bear crawl on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, our last question uh, comes from Facebook uh, from David and five-year-old Paxton. They both asked the same question. They wanted to know what our sloth's favorite snacks are. So these guys' favorite snack is hibiscus flowers. They absolutely love hibiscus, and you can always tell when you give them some because they have the pollen all over their faces. So they just like eating flowers, and I can tell he's starting to move for the flower right now. He can see it. Oh, yeah. Here he goes. Does that smell fun? You going to take that? Yes. So you can see how he's using those claws, sort of like we would use a hand. Now what are some other things that Oscar likes to eat? I like if, if a hibiscus flower is his favorite treat, uh, what's his favorite you know, normal diet food? So some things that they typically get in their diet that they really love include corn. That's a favorite of Oscar's especially. And they also really love yellow squash. I think Maya is looking a little jealous. Does she like hibiscus flowers too? She does. You want to give her one? Okay. I don't believe I've ever fed a sloth, so this is going to be, be very cool. She might reach out and grab it. All right. Let's see how, how this goes. All right. She hasn't met me before, so she's not too sure about what I'm giving her. And there she goes. Well, you gotta grab it. It's gonna fall. You just gonna slobber on it? Yeah, she does. Yeah, she's gonna grab it now. No. Caitlin, I thought sloths move slowly. She's moving quick. So that is a common a common idea that sloths are really slow, but they can move a little bit fast. So they can move about a quarter mile an hour, uh, which doesn't sound like much, 
But when you put it in terms of meters per second, it can move a little bit better. So they definitely need to be able to escape predators in the wild. Uh, and one way that they actually do that is they can drop from the tree straight into a body of water and they can actually hold their breaths for longer than a dolphin can. A dolphin can hold their breath for 10 minutes. These guys can do it for 40 minutes. Well, it looks like Maya finally got into her snack. So I'm going to let her eat that. Caitlin, thanks for answering our, our questions for today. We really appreciate it. And uh, for everybody else uh, at home, join us next time. Look out on Facebook and on Instagram and on social media uh, for your next opportunity to ask our zookeeper questions. Uh, we'll see you then. Bye-bye.